everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Weekly News from Helium 10. I'm Karen. And I'm Barkus. So our first story today is that Amazon has released a new tool in beta, the Virtual Product Bundles tool. Now, it allows sellers to create bundles of existing FBA products without packaging items together or changing FBA inbound inventory. The new tool is available now to selected sellers within Brand Registry 2.0. It's potentially big news, Karen. What do you think? This is huge news. This tool is still in beta, but there's already a lot of excitement generating around it. We actually have an in-depth blog post about this new tool. It actually goes inside all of the instructions on how to find out if your account has access to it or not. You can find the link to that description below. What do you think about this new update? Will you be using it? Now for another piece of breaking news, for the first time ever, Walmart has surpassed eBay in its share of all US e-commerce sales. Although both companies are still far behind Amazon's 38% claim of the total market share, with Walmart holding a 5.8% and eBay right behind at 4.5%. Yeah, and as we reported in the past, e-commerce has been booming this year with sales increasing to a record 17.7% in May alone. That's not the end of it. Sales are estimated to continue climbing in 2020 to over 18%, which is higher than previously forecasted. My question to viewers at home is, are you selling on walmart.com or do you plan on selling on walmart.com in the near future? Let us know. Now, continuing on with that Walmart news, this Monday, Walmart announced a partnership with Shopify to expand its third-party marketplace site. This comes amid Shopify's partnership with Facebook just last month in a move that some are seeing as Shopify's own attempt to edge closer to a third-party selling and directly challenging Amazon. What do you think about that, Barkus? I think it's great, Karen. Uh, this is a natural progression of marketplace platforms expanding to meet customers' needs as the natural progression of people selling on Amazon want to expand further into other marketplaces and their own platform. Walmart's expected to bring in roughly 1,200 Shopify stores to its marketplace by the end of 2020. The stores will be able to list items to sell directly on walmart.com. Now, this is an important story we've, we've been tracking all year, and we're going to keep our eye on it as Walmart and Shopify equip themselves to compete directly with Amazon. Well, that's it for us this week. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your network. Before you go, the question of the week we'd like to ask you is, how long have you been selling on Amazon? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, we're also on Twitter. Twitter. So make sure to follow us for more news at helium underscore 10. Thanks for watching. I'm Barkus. And I'm Karen. See you next week. Bye.